The Jokic brothers are back at it again. After Game 3 of the Western Conference Finals against the Lakers at Crypto.com Arena, they were spotted mocking and waving goodbye to none other than the most famous Laker fan in the world, Jack Nicholson. The 86-year-old reportedly exchanged words with the brothers during the game and also appeared angry and annoyed on his way out of the arena. We've already had the opportunity to witness the brothers on several occasions during the playoffs. However, this time in a more joking and cheering manner. Their current demeanor stands in stark contrast to the last couple of seasons when they nearly came to blows with Devin Booker, the Morris twins, and Jimmy Butler. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the terrifying Strahinia and Nemanja Jokic, their confrontations with some of the biggest stars in the NBA, and explore why they strike fear into the hearts of almost every player in the league. Strahinia and Nemanja were born in Sombor, Serbia, more than a decade before Nikola entered the world. As the youngest of the three siblings, Nikola received the care and support of his brothers during his formative years. Growing up together in the modest two-bedroom apartment with their parents and grandmother, they formed an inseparable bond. Their shared passion for basketball played a significant role in shaping their individual paths, with Nikola unquestionably achieving the most remarkable success among the three. As his brothers pursued basketball careers, young Nikola found himself feeling somewhat isolated. At the tender age of seven, he bid farewell to his siblings as they ventured away from home. The tallest of the three, standing at an imposing seven feet, Strahinia was the first to depart, but encountered little success in his professional basketball endeavors in Europe. Nikola would often joke about his brother, saying he may not possess exceptional talent, but he hates losing drawing a somewhat witty comparison to NBA champion Kendrick Perkins. On the other hand, the middle child Nemanja ventured far away from home to the United States, where he played Division I basketball for the University of Detroit Mercy. During his two-year stint with the Titans, he averaged a modest four points and three rebounds per game. Standing at a relatively modest height of six foot six inches as a center, his chances of being drafted in the 2010 NBA draft were limited. Later, Nemanja redirected his hyper-masculine prowess towards mixed martial arts, where he currently boasts an unblemished record of 3-0, all victories by knockout, of course. As a child, Nikola appeared quite distinct from his brothers, primarily due to his struggles with being overweight. He recalls, I towered over most guys and girls, but I was the heaviest. I had a fondness for certain subjects in school such as math and history. Physical activities, however, were not my cup of tea. In high school, I couldn't even manage a single push-up. Robert Katona, Nikola's first physical education teacher, recalled this. He loved playing basketball more than anything else. However, when it came to gym class and athletics, he hated it. I always had to encourage him to participate in gymnastics. Fast forward to present day and the brothers now reside next to each other in two spacious homes in central Denver, which Nikola purchased in 2019. Undoubtedly, the Jokic brothers are his most ardent supporters, consistently cheering him on whenever the Denver Nuggets play at home in the ball arena. Nikola has endeared himself to NBA fans, not only because of his remarkable talent, but also thanks to his charismatic and witty personality. However, he can also be quite a handful when he's provoked. His tenacity stems from his brother's influence, as they toughened up the initially goofy youngster. Nikola openly admits that Strahinia is the only person who truly frightens him, recounting an incident where his hands were tied while his brothers hurled knives at him as punishment for refusing to climb a tree. Jokingly, he adds, When I have free time, I like to spar with my brothers. Well, mainly the younger one, Nemanja. As for Strahinia, I go for a hug since he's stronger than me. It's clear that competitiveness runs in the family, as acknowledged by their father, Bronislav. Nemanja himself admits to possessing the same passion and eccentricity as his brothers. Although information about the Jokic brothers' activities back home in Serbia remains undisclosed, there have been rumors suggesting their connections to individuals tied to the Serbian Mafia. This reputation, coupled with their upbringing in Serbia, a resilient Eastern European nation that has experienced its fair share of devastating wars over the past three decades, makes it unwise to cross paths with the huge and scary-looking brothers. Moreover, both siblings served in the Serbian army, as the country's conscription rule required them to complete nine months of mandatory service at the age of 18. Given the Serbian army's reputation for toughness, it's evident that the Jokic brothers acquired valuable skills in handling conflicts in an intimidating manner. 
The Jokic brothers first made headlines in America on October 1, 2019, when Strahinia faced accusations of choking a woman with whom he had a prior romantic involvement. According to reports, he prevented her from accessing her phone to call emergency services and prohibited her from leaving the Denver apartment when they were together. Seeking help, she retreated to a bedroom and managed to use a computer to message someone she knew. This person promptly contacted the police, who arrived at the scene in a timely manner. Strahinia, allegedly intoxicated at the time, faced charges of second-degree assault, false imprisonment, and obstruction of telephone service. However, details about the court proceedings were never disclosed to the public. The brothers attracted attention once again during Game 4 of the 2020-21 Western Conference semifinals between the Denver Nuggets and the Phoenix Suns. In a moment of frustration, Nikola attempted to swipe the ball away from Cameron Payne, but inadvertently struck him across the face, causing Payne to fall to the court and require medical attention. This prompted Devin Booker to confront Nikola, resulting in a brawl between the two teams. Jokic received a flagrant two foul, leading to his ejection from the game. On the sidelines, the impassioned Jokic brothers had to be restrained by security from entering the court. They expressed their frustration towards Booker and Serbian, using profanity-laced language, clearly demonstrating their eagerness for confrontation. Fortunately for D-Book, the situation did not escalate further. In the following season, the Joker found himself involved in another altercation during a regular season matchup against the Miami Heat at the Ball Arena in Denver. The incident began when Jokic pushed the ball down the court in transition, and Markeith Morris forcefully elbowed him in an attempt to halt the play. In immediate retaliation, Jokic thrust his elbow into Markeith's back, causing him to fall hard to the floor. This controversial foul stirred up significant controversy, with Jimmy Butler further intensifying the confrontation by challenging the two-time MVP to a fight, exclaiming, bring your ass to the back, let's go. Nikola expressed regret for his reaction and publicly apologized to the media. As a result of his actions, he was ejected from the game and received a one-game suspension, while Markeith and Jimmy faced fines. Although it seemed that the issue had subsided, tensions reignited on Twitter between the Jokic brothers and Marcus Morris, Markeith's twin brother who plays for the Los Angeles Clippers. In response to Marcus's tweet stating, waited till bro turned his back, shaking my head, noted. The Jokic brothers created a Twitter account with the handle at Jokic Brothers and directly responded to Marcus saying, your brother made a dirty play first. If you want to make a step further, be sure we will be waiting for you. Jokic Brothers. In an attempt to instill fear, Marcus fired back saying, you got the right ones, believe that. Unfazed by Marcus's words, the Jokic brothers boldly declared, I don't believe, I know that. To demonstrate their fearlessness, the Jokic brothers even purchased tickets to the next Nuggets Heat game held at the FTX Arena in Miami. As they entered the arena, they were met with boos from the home fans. Fortunately, the situation did not escalate any further, and everyone present breathed a sigh of relief. It's undeniable that the Jokic brothers have made quite an impact both on and off the court. While their unwavering support for Nikola and their passionate nature have endeared them to fans, their confrontations and reputation for toughness have left most NBA players terrified of the duo. Despite their occasional altercations, it's important to recognize that there is much more to the Jokic brothers than meets the eye. It's going to be exciting to see what kind of welcome the brothers will receive when they enter the familiar and hostile territory of the FTX Arena in Miami for games 3 and 4. Markeith Morris may be long gone, but a red-hot Jimmy Butler is usually up for anything, and knowing the Jokic brothers, they're not the ones to back down either. It's going to be a crazy spectacle both on and off the court. We can't wait for it. Speaking of admiration, 19-year-old Victor Wembanyama is the most sought-after basketball talent there is. A quarter century has passed since the San Antonio Spurs selected franchise-altering Tim Duncan with the first overall pick. But fortune has smiled upon them yet again. The basketball gods have presented them with the possibility of another franchise-altering talent in Wembanyama. NBA experts are already saying he's the best player to ever enter the league. A new era is dawning in San Antonio, and I made a video about the whole situation, their young and talented roster, and how far they'll go next season. Check it out.